Regardless of who you are and what you are into Panama's word, let all your people sing Panama's word, if you love your country sing Panama's word, let's turn together Let us cultivate the habits of the truth Regardless of who you are and what you are into Ghana must work Let all the people sing Ghana must work No partisanship is Ghana must work Yes you know, my name is Afro Ages And I have a feature on this song The title is Ghana must work And I believe Ghana must work when we all begin to see the truth Let all the people sing Ghana must work If you love your country sing Whether you are a doctor whether you're the president, whether you're the minister, the chief justice, I think we have to speak the truth to her. Whether you're a journalist, whether you're a military man, whether you're a policeman, we have to learn to speak the truth. Stop trying to massage situations to favor the leader or to favor somebody in power. Ah, ah, Leadership in Ghana and Africa as a whole, I think it's a very dicey situation, a very tricky topic. Because Ghana have, have a lot of leaders in the past two decades, three decades. And I think they all have their unique aspect. Right? They all have their unique um, strength when it comes to leadership. And uh, from Rollins, uh, somebody I like so much, electric, rural electrification, so he tried to expand the grid, which was very important. Then Mr. Kufour came with the try to do one from the hip that had our debts gone down. Then we had a camel, which was very passionate about the country. That was trying to put a lot of things in place about being right, police policies, even the oil fields and stuff. Then we have Mahama, that did a lot of uh, projects on uh, social media, schools, health. So it's, I think that Mahama uh, was Mama was more about infrastructure. Now have to put things in place and even the, the, the Bunso aspect, that to increase the grade to even the higher one that we have now. I think the Nanado came, I think MVP is more about policies. A lot of good policies. Um, one visit, one factory. Also, give it away if they are working or not. But a lot of, a lot of policies are very are very good. That I, but I think they could have done more on all the towns in the world. So, there are different assets. But in all this, I think they have done their best when their party is in power and something goes wrong. They can objectively, objectively criticize it. You see, the leader is there to make his own choice according to his own laws, according to his, what he thinks is right. So it's about we, the, the leaders, the, the people, and the, city, the journalists have to break it down and say, no man, this can't work. Let's think about it. 10 years from now, 50 years from now, when you do so, 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 so it will affect the, 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 the youth coming up. So don't take this, this step, I think this, let's criticize, let's speak the truth to power. Whether you are, is, you are on salary or you are, you have to speak the truth, man. That is Ghana's big It's all your people sing, Ghana's word, if you love your country. You can't be lazy, the youth are never lazy. Youth, they are work in the, in the public sector, so I know what's, the artisanship of what you can need to see. Kenyans are hard working. When you go to the malls and you go to any high sky building that is going up in Ghana, and trust me, you see youths are the ones doing most of the work. The, 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 maybe the Chinese man or the Lebanese man just can't draw the signs and go. Trust me, I see youths because I'm doing, I work on intercom and tele, telecom and stuff. So I see the youth painting, the one doing the infrastructure, the designs, the architecture, the painting. Ghanaian youths are so marvelous. Just me, somebody tell you Ghanaian youths is lazy, that person doesn't know what to talk about. Let's pick the shoot in front of the oppressor. Hold on. No, no, I think there are a lot, lot of things to put I, I, I don't understand why we don't pick the simplest route. See, the simplest route to employ youths is in agriculture and industry. Okay, when you put agriculture and industry down, for example, a company like uh, Coca Cola, Casa this they I work at Casa uh, Coca Cola before, so I know the level of youth they do. See, when you have an industry, you have a company, let's say like Casa it's in, it employs over, it's over, over no, 2,000, 3,000 youths. Some cleaning, some are engineers, some are mechanical engineers, some are like, see, man, you have to bring more industry, not industry of 12 or industries that are able to create raw materials and to products that can employ youth. Agriculture, man. Agriculture can employ over 1 million youths if you want to apportion the sectors very well. 
we are able to have our railway system from region to region and we have these are our factories, our farm to factory, farm to factory. The railway lines are working still effectively. Agriculture can employ over one million youths. So that's a that's a sector, agriculture, industry, and tourism. These three sites are one most important. You know NSG Sounds and Nutri Studios, their, their partnership is great and we have a certain a, a big video coming out for you, a lot of projects. It's not only about a music video, but the projects that are, are linked because they want to make Ghana better in their own way and I also want to do you know Afro it is all about making things work and making Africa proud. So I think the, the, the partnership between NSG Gat Sound and Nutri Studios, Afro Ages is massive. A lot of great projects are coming. Ghana must work. Things have to stop. Things have to change for the better. Many things are going to be changed for the better. Take food advantage of the rich.